Okay, so now we are in step 49. Step 49 says if you select the indoor radio button and submit the form, the form data for the button is based on its name and value attributes. Since your radio button do not have a value attribute, the form data will include indoor slash outdoor equals on. Okay, so both indoor and outdoor will be on. Okay which is not useful when you have multiple buttons. All right, our assignment is to add a value attribute to both radio buttons. For convenience, set the button's value attribute to the same value as its ID attribute. So here the first code ID attribute is indoor. So to add the value attribute, we come here and space our value and open code and we put indoor and do not forget to do that next to the other code we come here and we do the same value and we put outdoor then we need to come here and do that all right, so now you see that the first code has its value attribute indoor. The second code has its value attribute outdoor. Let's check if it's correct. Okay, there it goes. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please, if you're enjoying this, do not forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. Don't forget to like. Thank you. See you in step 50.